welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Atullah with another new video uh, in our previous two lecture I have just shown that how we'll start or how we'll start creating our modeling and uh, also how we'll finish that and uh, we have completed in Perlin so in this lecture I am just oh sorry we have uh, completed till truss and uh, our column so if I open that file that was our previous file to just see here so here is your model and now in this lecture we will just uh, draw here Berlin and uh, also we will draw here our uh, roof okay so roof materials so before that uh, we have to define our roof materials okay and uh, we have defined Berlin you know that so uh, that that is our uh, we have completed till our previous lecture so we're going to start and before starting if you new to our channel then I'll request to please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and uh, the previous two lectures link are given in description so I'll request to please all that when it's complete okay when uh, it will complete after that I'll just come here and I'll take it in plan view from S3 then ok so this is our plan view this is for plan view right now here we have to done our next process from here we have to done our next process so to complete that process first of all we'll uh, draw our parlin okay we'll draw our parlin here so to draw parlin they have a good way so how can I draw parlin simply I'll just click here I'll click here frame okay so from here that is frame and uh, from here I will select that from here this is for tr uh, sorry that is for truss then sorry uh, this for after so here the rafter like okay so here the rafter and after that I'll just select here and I'll go in that way here like that I'll draw right but they have another good way so I'm just skipping they have another good way to draw that immediately okay with short time right so to do that what will do actually so first of all I'll just click here and from here I'll go plan uh, elevation then I'll go uh, from I will start from that one because we have taken base that one from our previous lecture so I'll click here one grid line one then click ok so and I'll just make it little bit uh, smaller okay so here now from here we'll just select all of our point okay we'll select all of our point and before that we have to do something just click here and what you want to draw okay what you want to draw just you have to select from here right so from here uh, frame that is frame the type of line that is frame and the property that is rafter okay so you have to select that as per your requirement so when you have selected now I'll go here select then I'll go here the point then here another one and here another one like that I'll draw all of the point just see here so here is another point here another and uh, here another and here the top point similarly here one here one here one at the one like that we'll select all of our point where we'll provide parlin so when it is done right when it's done then you just have to click edit then extrude then from extrude join to frame okay extrude that join to frame so here extrude join to frame and here just you, go, you have to give the distance between that one column to another column I mean you have to just give it the span distance so here simply I'll give 13 feet and here what is the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 the number is 6 that is 6 then simply click apply just see here all of our rafter have drawn 
just see here how e how quickly you have done that so uh, after that I'll just close that and if you need to check that then right click and see here this is rafter okay and this is uh, automated section because uh, our co uh, software will consider that automatically what is required right after that we can go for a definite section okay so I'll just cancel that when um, it's done right when it's done now when it's done now we'll go for our slab property okay so we have to uh, do, do our row section okay I'm mean row property hold with row actually uh, for that type of a structure we use light wet galvanic sheet or like that like that types of materials that are in e steel like e steel sheet okay so or like tin so for that similarly we have to select that section from here just see here we'll select that line from here carefully okay just uh, carefully follow me simply before that I'll just come here so we can select them a draw floor wall or plan so from here and when uh, as that is selected so if you click here just see here they have no wall or opening but before that we have to define that so I'll just go ahead define then section properties then from here slab section or deck section so I'll just go ahead for slab section and I'll just consider a materials like slab 1 I'll delete that that is slab 1 okay and I'll just go ahead modify and uh, this is for slab 1 okay and materials that actually does not matter I'm just um, considering that is as a uh, moment free member okay I'm considering that as a moment free member so here's a type uh, there's the slab and I'll consider that is uh, 0.1 inch okay so what over the 0 0.1 inch means 25.4 sorry on is at on is equal to 0 0.54 then if I multiply that value sorry uh, this is uh, 25 point okay consider that like that and uh, here 0 0.1 so it's a uh, 2.5 millimeter 2.5 millimeter sheet will use and also you can use 2.2 uh, 2, 2 mm it's up to you actually right so I'm just considering 2.5 then I'll just close that now here here uh, okay 0 0.1 that's okay and it's slab and here the important the modeling type here the membrane okay use as a membrane use as a membrane and use a special one way loaded distribution so we can uh, select here for one way a special one way load distribution okay so uh, obviously we'll use that as a honest load distribution otherwise if you need here you can give here another support but uh, we're not going to do that so I'll simply when it's done okay, I'm just uh, closing that after that it's okay okay it's on way then I'll just click okay and here is the slab then okay after that after that I'll just click that on sorry close I'll select that on 3d obviously you have to go in 3d view otherwise okay we'll just go in 3d then from here otherwise uh, if you have no 3d view here then you can go from here the plan okay from plan view you can go from apply plan view then okay right uh, after the plan view right after plan view just uh, you can go here the object type that is slab 1 just cons uh, see here slab 1 right that is slab on so when it's done after that we'll go here I have told you previously what we are going to draw quickly that we have to select first and after that we'll just come here and uh, here uh, sorry I'll just come here and I'll click here elevation view then apply then click ok 
so from here I'll just select all of that all of that frame from here the one two three four carefully we'll select that five six seven eight right then nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so when we have selected that and you will be able to ensure here then 16 frame selected right so when we have selected a 15 frame uh, 16 frame now we'll go here again edit then extrude now we'll select is extrude frame to shells right extrude frame to shell after that here we have to uh, at which direction we are going to extrude that so that we are going to extrude that in uh, y direction with 30 feet here the span is 30 feet and number is how 6 ok and if I take if I just click here apply just see here just see here we have uh, draw our wall member perfectly then I'll click ok and from here if I select any of it right click just see here the slab ok the slab 1 ok we have selected the slab on the slab on and geometry has the geometry and load they have no load actually till now so just see here how quickly you have draw that actually uh, you can draw that as per your way okay uh, by selecting that on by selecting that point that point that point and that point then uh, enter so in this way but in that way we need huge time okay we need huge time but here we can use that option very quickly so when it's done so just see here our frame is absolutely okay so if I click here and if we go in view then view render view then see here this is your view okay here is your uh, 3d view of our structure right just see here here is your 3d view of our structure just see here this is your render view here actually right okay so in this way we can complete our model okay so we have uh, finally we have tot um, I mean uh, finally we have co completed our model right we have completed our model now if we just want to see okay if we just want to see like uh, here and here you can see it in extrude mode so here is the extrude mode so here every the details are available now uh, I will just go here before analyze uh, I mean uh, providing everything I'll check the model here check model select wall then ok then see what happened just see here model has been checked no earning masses were generated ok no earning masses have been generated so I'll just simply close that so our model is okay so in our next lecture I'll show that how we'll define load and how we'll assign that load on our structure so thank you thank you very much sister stay connected till next video and if you think that that's helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first